One of the beauties of Android is how feature rich it is. We think we know all the features, but we clearly don't. Some are hidden away, some aren't very popular. Well, it's time to know the useful hidden features in Android. Hey guys, this is Upesh from bwom.com and it's been some time since we made a video on some new tricks, some new hidden features, new apps, etc. Well, we're changing that today. Today, I'm going to show you 10 hidden features in Android that are going to really surprise you, like really surprise you. In fact, some of them surprise me a lot. So yes, make sure to watch this video till the very end to unravel all the surprises. Anyway, before we start, I'd suggest you to hit the bell icon to get notified every time we post an awesome new video. Now that you've done that, let's get to the cool hidden features in Android. Uninstalling apps one by one is an annoying task. I know, custom skins like MIUI support batch uninstallation, but if you don't have MIUI, there's a feature in Android to uninstall apps very quickly. It's in the Play Store. So all you need to do is open the Play Store. Here, go to My Apps and Games. Here, just go to the Install tab. Now, see the storage option? Hit it up and you'll get the free up space page with apps Play Store recommends you to uninstall. Yeah, these are the apps you haven't used often. As you can see, I have quite a few apps I haven't used in a while. Then I can just quickly select multiple apps here, hit this button and gone. Poof. Simple. So what exactly are silent notifications? Well, these notifications just directly slide into the notification shade or notification center and they don't make a sound, they don't make a vibration or even show up on top as a banner. So yeah, these notifications are just there in the notification shade so that you can see them whenever you want to. I mean, not all notifications deserve our attention, right? Well, the ability to silent notifications from apps has been present, but Android 10 makes things a whole lot easier. In Android 10, you can just press hold on a notification like this and set the type of notification to other less important notifications and that's it. Job done, less annoyances. Okay, so almost all of us use Chrome on our Android smartphones, but did you know that you can use Chrome to free up some space on your smartphone? Yeah, I'm serious. So in Chrome settings, just go to site settings. Here you go to storage. Now check this out. Okay, so these are the websites that have taken up the most storage in my phone. If you're wondering how Swiggy.com is taking up almost 400 MBs on my phone, I have no clue really. Maybe I would have opened it once or twice. Yeah, I know I eat a lot, but I usually use the app. But this whole list is pretty surprising. Anyway, these are cache files and some of the guys in our office have websites taking up GBs of space too. So check your phone for the same. And yeah, you can just hit clear site storage and done. Some storage cleared. Awesome, right? Android 10's dark mode is awesome. I love how it turns all compatible apps dark. However, some apps still don't have a dark theme like say WhatsApp or Instagram. Well, that's where this feature comes in. So in developer options, there's this option called Override Force Dark that forces the dark mode on every single app, be it a system app or a third party app. Just turn it on and everything will go dark. As you can see, even the non-supported apps like WhatsApp support this. This is super cool, right? A lot of us use Gboard and if you are a Gboard user, well, I have a couple of amazing hidden features that you are going to love. So when you're typing and you want to capitalize the first letters of a word or even capitalize the whole word or a sentence, there's no easy way to do it, right? Wrong. It is simple. To capitalize the first letter of words, just select them and hit the shift button. Simple. See? Want to capitalize the whole word? Well, just double tap it. See? It's awesome, right? And you know what? It works even if you want to turn everything into lowercase. Super duper handy. App timers are great, but if you've always thought about setting a timer on Chrome, you'd know that it does not work. I mean, yes, Chrome can be distracting, so you want to set a timer on that. But Chrome is also something you need to research about stuff, learn the important things. So yeah, that does not work out. Anyway, with the new digital well-being update, there's a solution for all of this. Now you can just go to digital well-being and under Chrome, you can see the websites you have been visiting a lot. So you can set a timer on specific websites that are distracting you. As you can see, I read about cricket a lot. Time to put a timer on that. Anyway, with this, you have Chrome without the distraction. 
Okay, so question, what is the most annoying thing about websites? Answer, this. Yes, this is something that really, really annoys me. Yeah, I don't want your notifications and I don't want to see this prompt. Well, good news, Chrome is getting a new flag called quieter notification prompts that will apparently make these prompts quieter. Now, I'm not sure what quiet means here. Anyway, this flag is only available in the Chrome Canary build. But I went to the Chrome flags page and turned it on. Then I visited the websites that have this notification prompt. And well, there was no prompt. Yeah, this is a lifesaver and I hope it arrives to stable Chrome very soon. Okay, so I'm sure you know that you can set the battery saver to turn on at a certain battery percentage. But you know what? Android 10 brings a new cool option here. In Android 10, you can set the battery saver to turn on based on your routine. Yes, it's another AI mumbo jumbo, but it's pretty cool. See, with this, Android 10 will turn on the battery saver based on when you charge your phone and if your phone can last till that time. Not sure how well it works, but hey, it's cool. Now, this option isn't available on the OnePlus 7 Pro I'm using, but maybe it'll arrive soon. Google Street View is cool, but previously you had to use the Google Street View dedicated app and all of that to use it. Well, things have changed now. Now, all you need is the good old amazing Google Maps app. So Google Maps on Android recently got a dedicated Street View layer here. This makes things very simple. All you need to do is enable it by, you know, just tapping on it. And now you can see the streets that have Street View support marked with the familiar blue lines. Okay, so the Indraprast Institute of Technology is nearby, so I can just tap here and get the street view. Awesome. So Google has been working on a new Themes app for the Pixel 4, and well, as you can see, it looks amazing and very feature-rich. But yeah, for all those of you who don't know, Android 10 also brings some basic theming options. So in the developer options in Android, if you scroll down to the very end, these are the options. As you can see, there's accent color and you can choose from quite a few colors. You can also change the icon shape here and the font. Yeah, it's honestly basic, but hopefully the new Themes app is on its way very soon. Well, those are some really cool hidden features in Android that I personally really like. But what about you? Which is your favorite hidden feature that we showed you? Tell us in the comment section below. Also, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and make sure to share it with your friends who are huge Android fans. Lastly, subscribe to our channel for more amazing tech videos. Well, that's me signing off. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.